YouTube, Big G back again with another video response and this time to Woodland 37 and I'll post a link further down uh, for you if you want to see the original video but basically what he said is what were your f 15 favorite games on 15 systems and uh, once you start thinking about it it's actually quite interesting 15 systems, actually a lot of systems and uh, what I've done is I've actually gone about it in a chronological order so I've thought about these 15 systems and the 15 games sort of taking right from the start when I first started playing games and uh, I, I sort of try to put them in that sort of chronological order and also try to base it on uh, possibly the games that I spent the most time with as an indication of my favorite game because if it's your favorite game you're going to come back to it time and time again otherwise it's not just going to be any sort of random game that you had the best graphics or had the was the best shoot 'em up and so forth but the game that you played the most and it could also be based on the fact that that was the only game that you possibly had at that stage of your life so I'm gonna start with the first game that I ever played and uh, that was a game and watch title um, and that was fire I received this I think it was as a, a Christmas present I was only must have been eight nine years old or so somewhere around there and I got this and it was a rage at that stage all the kids at school had these game and watches they just come out or possibly yeah in South Africa had just come out Masobi had been out for years overseas but um, I had fire and it was this little trampoline guy that was at the bottom of the screen very very basic and you had to save these people jumping out of the building with the fire and I remember playing that to death absolutely to death I don't ever know what happened to it uh, I don't ever recall selling it or swapping it it just disappeared but fire on the game and watch was my my first favorite as such and then moving from there um, I must bring in my first experience on a computer then uh, which would be my Spectrum 48k which I received uh, and the game that I played the most uh, was also one of the first games that I played on the Spectrum and that was Jetpack um, 16k game at that stage great graphics great sound very very basic you know pick up the parts of your spaceship fuel it and off you go and do that over and over and over again but we played that to death absolutely to death I don't I didn't even have a, a joystick at that stage you played with a keyboard and only later were you privileged enough once you had a little joystick adapter you actually played on a joystick but jetpack on the um, 40, uh, 48k spectrum was a great game then I received my Spectra Video uh, 328 machine and the game that I played a lot of uh, I haven't really seen much of it on the internet or actually don't see much of Spectra Video at all was a game called Turboat uh, T-U-R Turboat and it was a very basic little game um, with this little, little boat that you had and it had different stages and that but I remember playing that it had great sound the graphics weren't too bad but it was also one of the very few games that I had on the Spectra Video uh, at that stage because the games that you actually received with the machine like Spectron and Armored Assault they were very very basic um, and Turbo was a game that I actually recall playing a lot of and really enjoying so that's three so let's move on to four I've actually made a couple of notes here because otherwise you get lost that was a game that I played at my brother-in-law's house in Port Elizabeth uh, and that was River Raid on the Atari 600XL Whenever I visited there, it was a go-to game. Uh, whipped out the Atari 600XL, he still had the cartridge, and uh, plonked that in and played River Raid. Great game, fantastic game. Um, definitely after one of those, um, if anybody has one to trade, uh, I'd like to get hold of a River Raid again for my Atari 600XL. Moving on from there, we've got Nintendo and we didn't have the Super Nintendos or anything like that. We had the Famicom clones uh, here in South Africa. And I can recall playing Contra to death on a Famicom. Fantastic game. I mean, and also the first experience of, okay, not really first experience, but competitive or collaborative play on a, on a, on a machine. Uh, great to play with my brother. My younger brother and I used to play this and we used to finish the game the two of us and Contra we used to play that over and over and still it's one of those games that uh, I still play to this day 
Contra on the on the Nintendo Famicom. So that's five. The arcades. Uh, I don't know if that really counts, but at that stage, most of the the better games are still being played in the arcades, and I can recall playing Gallagher uh, in the arcades over and over and over again. I spent a lot of my pocket money on Gallagher in the arcades. One of the best shoot 'em ups, and still one of the best shoot 'em ups on on any system, Gallagher. And I mean, it's been it's been brought out on every system that you could possibly think of. And you know, sitting there playing with your mates, uh, trying to work out your best strategies. You know, is it better to have your craft captured? You know, that little beam that comes down, capture your craft, then you can shoot with two ships at a st all those sort of things. I mean, I can remember playing that for hours and spending a lot of money on Gallagher. Okay, so where are we? I think I'm at number seven now. And number seven is a game I first played at a cousin's place on the Philips G7000, or also known as the Odyssey 2. And that was Space Monster, also another Space Invaders type clone. Uh, he didn't have a lot of games, games were very expensive then. But that was definitely one that I played a lot of whenever I visited his house. Or whenever I was allowed to play on the system. I mean back in those days, you know, if you, you were the owner of the system, you sort of kept the lion's share. And every now and then you let somebody else have a game. Unfortunately, I was that somebody else who had the game every now and then. But still, I have fond memories of playing uh, Space Monster on the G7000. So that's number seven. Number eight. Atari 2600. Now, there I can only go with Space Invaders. It was one of the few games that I actually played on the Atari 2600. I think it's one of the most common games on the Atari 2600 was Space Invaders. So that would have to rate as my favorite on that particular system, um, simply because that was the only game that was really available for us to play. And I still have a game of it every now and then. It's not the best Space Invaders game, but it's still, it's, it's got a lot of nostalgia with it, and I enjoy playing that. So that's number eight. Moving on to number nine. And another great system. Um, one that I've, I've purchased at a, a couple of auctions over the years, and uh, played it now and then, and then just sort of stuck it away for the last... 15 odd years in my garage and pulled it out recently and have started playing it again and that was a Telefunk and Creative Vision also done a couple of game plays on it and the game there is Sonic Invader on the Telefunk and Creative Vision great game um, a great one of the better Space Invader clones that you will find so that's number nine this is actually gets quite confusing number ten uh, yeah a game, it's definitely not a, a game with a lot of, it doesn't got great graphics, it doesn't got great sound, uh, it hasn't really, it's not a fantastic game by all means, but I played it quite a bit and therefore I have to rate it as a favorite game on that system and that is for the Tetelex Home Arcade and that is Space Mission on the Tetelex Home Arcade. I played that quite a bit, uh, it was, it sort of got a, a nice little uh, gameplay element to it where you've got to recover bits and pieces of your craft and then you've got to put it together and then you sort of rehash and do that over and over and over again. So it does get very monotonous but I actually played it quite a bit and I have featured it on a couple of videos. Uh, so for that system, definitely my favorite uh, space mission. Number 11, now we're moving to the handhelds and uh, Game Boy, uh, Nintendo Game Boy, um, definitely one of my favorite uh, and it's the Game Boy Advance. I'm not talking about the original Game Boy. I never never had an original Game Boy. Only you know recently over the last couple of months actually got an original Game Boy. So I haven't really played many games on the original Game Boy. But on the Game Boy Advance, the uh, the, the clamshell ones, uh, I played uh, Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising to Death. I actually finished that game. Fantastic game. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. If you can get hold of it, play it guys. It really is a great game. And uh, it's, it's one of the better games that I've played on that system, on the Game Boy Advance. And uh, definitely a, a must play. Moving on to number 12, uh, staying with the handhelds, uh, the Nintendo DS this time, DS Lite. And there a game that, I uh, also did a gameplay video on it, a fantastic uh, strategy come role play type game. Uh, and if you can play it, get hold of it, play it. It's one of the better games on the system that I've played. And that's Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. And I still find myself 
uh, especially if I if I go away for the weekend with something like that I pack the DS in because it has such a long battery life and so forth and it's quite a robust machine I don't mind taking it with uh, and then I'll stick it in because I know that I can play some of the quick missions and I really enjoy playing Might and Magic Clash of, of Heroes it really is a great game so if you can get hold of it guys give it a go so that's number 12 moving on to number 13 uh, one of the systems that I've got recently, also still staying with a handheld system, and that is the Neo Geo Pocket. And the reason I got the system was to play this particular game, and that was Metal Slug 2 on the Neo Geo Pocket. Fantastic game. I mean, the graphics are good, the sounds good, the, uh, the gameplay is actually quite good as well on it. Uh, the, the little handheld console, you know, I enjoy the movement on it, of it. I like the... Um, how close it is to the actual arcade game. Moving on to number 14 and it's another handheld game. That This time on the Nintendo 3DS uh, I did a gameplay of it as well recently and that is Thor on the 3DS and I'm actually playing it on the 2DS. Uh, Thor actually a great little fighting game. Uh, great sound, great graphics and I enjoy the way that they've actually done the uh, brought Thor the movie into the gameplay. Um, I love the way that the character can shoot forward as he does in the movies. I like the way that he jumps. I like the movements. The movements are not that tough to get to know and once you've played and got used to the controls you actually get quite far in the game. And I found that I've enjoyed Thor, God of Thunder on the 3DS. Num that was number 14. Ah, uh, jeez, this is actually taking longer than I thought. Number 15. Okay, uh, this was a difficult one because and yeah, I'm looking at the PC. I've done most of my gaming. If I had to add in all the hours that I've played gaming versus any other system, definitely by far the most would be on the PC. And the game that I've spent the most hours on on the PC is actually a modern day game, which is which is actually one of the most popular games in the world. And that is League of Legends. I've been playing that on and off now for about the last two years, two and a half years or so. And I still play that more than likely almost every day. I have a game of League of Legends on the PC. Yes, there are other PC games that I played from start to finish and completed them. But I've never gone back to them and replayed them over and over and over again. So definitely the game that the single game that I've spent the most time playing and also my favorite game on the PC would be League of Legends. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, interesting uh, video response to do and it actually got me scratching my head often uh, trying to think which games which are my 15 favorite games on 15 different systems it's not that you know once you start adding these systems together and start writing it down and trying to put it in some sort of order it's actually it's not that easy to do um, so yes Woodland 37 uh, I enjoyed that I enjoyed your video and uh, this is my response to it okay guys cheers